rabbit pie today, which is probably gonna be more like a stew um, with a pie lid on top. So that is the rabbit meat um, that actually I bought earlier in the year from Kezi. Um, this came frozen, actually in sort of fairly whole pieces, but I've just sort of cut them up and diced them now. I'm just gonna brown them off. some leeks in. Okay, next we're just gonna add some cider. Cider. And then I'm then going to put in Okay, I've turned the heat down now and we're just going to let that simmer for about 25 minutes Okay, next I'm going to put in about two or three tablespoons of warm water, so this isn't hot, it's just warm water. Start with about two and a half, Let's see how that goes. So all I'm going to do now is just wrap that in some cling film and leave that in the fridge to chill until we need it. Okay, we're gonna check on until we need this as it's been in there for about 20 minutes now. Wow, that's reduced down quite nicely. I'm happy with that. So, what I'm going to do now is just stir in some whole grain mustard. One, two. Next comes the cream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's about that much. About half the pot. Sprinkling of salt. So I'm going to put that into a pie dish now. go everything's ready now and uh, we'll roll out the pastry and then put a top on that that looks lovely so I'm gonna put that into a pie dish now Okay, so from the dough that I made earlier, I'm just gonna try and roll some out. Unfortunately, if you lend your friend slash neighbor your rolling pin, they don't always bring it back. So you end up having to do this sort of thing by hand, but that's okay. So I'm 
gonna put the pie out because the pie is cooled down. So next I'm just There we are, it's all done. Now that goes into the oven until it's golden brown. And then the finishing touches, a bit of ventilation. There we go, beauty.